I drove my 1500 pound car from England to the south of Spain. Now, I don't really explain it much in the video, hence why I'm making this clip, but it was a very spontaneous decision. And I left my house at about half 11 at night. Here's what the journey looked like. Really, it was just about me sort of um, feeling like I wanted to be more confident in my own vision, you know? Sometimes you can. I've just arrived at my hotel in Dover. The time is. Time is about 20 past three in this is the morning um yeah so pretty late got the portable charger on charge got my phone probably need to charge that as well actually come to think about it it's actually quite a nice travel lodge but my room is like not the best it's got two single beds for some reason and i've got like a big disabled toilet but it is what it is anyway so that was the first part done it's actually a lot easier than you think. Um, <clears throat> but just because I feel like the my ways are really easy to memorize. So I wrote these notes before leaving. Um, so I'm gonna do some notes now, like for the French part of the trip, because that won't be so easy to remember. Like, I mean, this one was easy to remember because it's M5, M42, M40, M25, M26, M20. That becomes the A20. And then I got my phone out right at the end. But um, yeah, so basically gonna write some notes like that for the French thing, which will be about 12 hours. So driving, not taking notes. But yeah, anyway, I'm knackered, as you can probably tell. So see you in the morning. So good morning again. It's now 10 past six in the morning. If you wanna look at that. Uh, as you can see, it's still pretty dark. I slept about two hours. Um, did not go to the gym. There's no way that was happening. I'm one hour sleep. So got an extra hour. Um, and it's time to go get the uh, the channel. So let's see how that goes. And then about 13 hours driving once we get into France. So see you in a bit. I'm now on the channel. The tan tunnel channel? <laughs> channel tunnel. <laughs> Um, this is what it looks like. You kind of park in, it's a bit like a ferry, but like really thin. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me. But um, yeah, uh, I'm actually on really early. I made a huge mistake where I didn't realize I got the flexible ticket uh, just in case and like to sort myself breakfast before going. And then I've just missed the Brexit exit. Brexit exit breakfast exit you can tell I've had two hours sleep anyway so I've got no food but I'm on here like an hour before we leave so to be fair I'm actually just gonna try to sleep in my car because um, then I'll get like two and a half hours sleep so I'll keep you updated when we get into La France officially so very quick update something that I'm buzzing about don't know if you can see but outside that window we're actually moving I was just nodding off I thought I, f I thought that the car behind had like hit me, so I was like, "What?" And then I realised the train's moving. So it's six fifty-three now. So that means I must be on the earlier train. And that, I guess, is the good thing about the um, flexi ticket is that I've missed like the breakfast thing by accident. But they, they, I've just gone straight onto what train was ready. So I'm actually really happy about that because it's going to give me at least an extra hour to get down to. Uh, Gerona. So that's really good because it's going to be 12, 13 hours. So an extra hour helps, especially if I'm going to have to be stopping to charge my power banks on my phone. So I'm actually, yeah, really buzzing about that. So anyway, now I'll try and nod off. Let's see what happens. It's now half past eight French time. As you can see, the sun, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? The sun has come up. And we're here in La France, in Calais. So, yeah. Let's do this. So, as you can probably tell by the voice on the radio, I'm now in France, I'm about 20 minutes in. I actually got, a, the train got in at like exactly half past. And it's 8.52 now, so like 22 minutes. Um, in terms of, navigation my phones are like 96% 
But um, what I did last night, I don't know if I showed you guys this. To be fair, like, I'm so tired. So I don't actually know if I showed you or what. I wrote down all of the roads that I need to take and when. So I know roughly, I know roughly where I'm going, what roads and that. So um, basically, my game plan is turn off. Say now I've got like 290k until my next turning. So I was going to literally just go phone off until I know I'm close to Rems or Rames. I think you say, say it Rems. And then uh, same with Leon, which will be the next big city. Um, yeah, and then after that, the, the next big city. Yeah, there you go. Rems, 254. So 254k from Rems. So about 40k into this road. But uh, yeah, like I say, um, when I get to uh, to Rems, I'll check the map and so on. But uh, just basically trying to save as much battery as possible. Every time I go in to get food or petrol, I'm going to be plugging in as well. So just try and make that battery last. It's kind of weird because I'm so used to just having it right there. You know, just chilling and having it life for it super easy. But uh, this is good, it's a challenge. So I don't want any more challenging, so I'm not gonna tempt that fate. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to be doing it. <laughs> As you probably saw in that last clip, it started raining. But uh, it's 5 to 11 now, so I've been driving for 2 hours 25 minutes. And here, Air du Mont de Nizi. Definitely said that wrong. But uh, this is where I'm going to be having my first official stop. I did actually slightly twat into a curb on one of the toll things, which is not ideal. And this looks shut, which is also not ideal. Um, maybe it's open, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we'll have a look at the damage now when I park up, see what the crack is. But uh, I mean, to be fair, I did that really early on. It's probably been about two hours ago, maybe more than two hours ago. And uh, the car feels fine still, so. I'm not too sure how much you guys can see from there. But uh, so weird France, it feels like a mix of Spain and England. It's like neither of the two. Um, right, let's see. Grab my phone even though it's turned off. Fair, I can't even tell where I did it. So it looks like no structural damage anyway. So that's good. Right. Now for something to eat. Did my first stop, like I just said. Uh, grabbed some food. It said it was a restaurant on Google Maps when I like got my phone up. But it wasn't. It was like services with like a... Uh, basically it was some pastries uh, and a couple of sandwiches. But it's better than nothing. So I got an Americano. Well, I asked for an Americano. They gave me an espresso. So I think maybe uh, an Americano's just an espresso. <laughs> just like a shot. But that's okay, I just needed some caffeine anyway. But, I went to the toilet. And like I say, I'm sure I'll be showing this footage either before this or during what I'm saying now. But I went into like three different cubicles and none of them, not a single one of the empty cubicles had a toilet seat. So I literally just did my business, my number two, squatting over the toilet. Now, what is that about? That's definitely not a European thing, because in Spain we've got toilets, toilet seats. That's just, that's just a French thing. But like, when I've been to Paris, they had toilet seats. So, maybe that's just a regional thing. 
I'm like just about to get into REM or REMS. So maybe that's like a regional thing or maybe is that just this service station? Because that is crazy. Like what the actual fuck. Insane. Anyway, about 20 past 11 now. Been on the road again a minute or two. So I'll try to send it through until about half one. See ya. Later, alligator. <laughs> You can probably tell I'm stuck in Leon traffic. I've got the phone on just just uh, until I get out of the city, sort of thing. But uh, I'll set you up there so I can talk with you. It's a pretty mad city, actually. It's like pretty big. I didn't think Leon was this big. I don't know why. Like, obviously, I knew Paris was big. Uh, where else is big in France? I knew Paris is big, but. Uh, I didn't realise Lyon was this massive. I guess their football club's pretty decent, isn't it? But uh, I don't know. Anyway, so it's currently half past four. So I just stopped about half an hour ago. That was at the end of my third uh, stint, leg, whatever you want to call it. And to be honest, that was by far the hardest so far. About an hour from the end, I was really suffering really hard. Just. The, uh, the two hours of sleep. It's really getting to me now. Um, but yeah, so luckily I've had my phone on, either on airplane mode or turned off pretty much all day until now, like I said. And I'm actually pretty high on percentage. I'm on like 79%, which is pretty mental considering me driving literally, what, eight hours now. <clears throat> it's like half eight and it's half four. So yeah, eight hours. Um, so I think my secret power, secret power, uh, my secret weapon, hidden weapon, whatever that saying is, um, is going to be headphones and uh, podcast because that makes time fly. And like I say, I've got portable chargers and I'm not even had to use them yet. So I'm pretty confident if I airplane mode it and play one of the uh, podcasts I've got downloaded, then, uh, then the battery should last. So it should be decent. Right, I've got 199 kilometers until my next turn. So, that's interesting. But uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Just stopped again for my fourth stop. So it's half past six now. That means I've been going for 10 hours. That's just in France, so that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, about three hours 20 to go until I get to Gerona. Uh, at the border, which is called La Frontera, is about 40 minutes before that. So, I've got about two hours, what's that? Two hours 40 left in France. Uh, yeah, you can really tell, like, we're right in the south now. Just the way the air feels, like, it feels really warm, feels like summer again. Like, I'm getting too warm in this jumper, I should have probably taken it off. What's weird is, uh, I was on the phone with my auntie earlier, and um, she was saying, apparently it's on the news, she lives in uh, the Canary Islands, and she was saying it's on the news that um, Spain's having loads of uh, storms come through. And even now, it's super warm, but I don't know if you can tell. It's actually raining a bit, which is a bit strange. But um, yeah, so, Anyway, nearly done. I'll probably check up. I'll probably stop one more time or twice more. Um, instead of going two and a half hours stint now, I've still got like three hour twenty left. I think I'm gonna go like just two hours. So then I'll stop with like an hour twenty left. And then I'll probably stop right again just for hotel just to uh, bring my fuel. So I just refueled then. And it's expensive to be honest. So I paid, on the toll, I paid 25 euro for the first toll, 50 euro for the second toll, so that's 75 euro. And I paid 76 euro for the first refuel, and I paid uh, 60 euro for the second refuel. So that's 138 in petrol, plus 75. 
So basically, call it 200 euros. That's before you include the wear and tear, the tunnel ticket, and of course, the, uh, the hotels. I've just parked in that park in there. And I didn't realize how nice this town was. It's literally been ages since I was here. It's been like 12. Acabo de llegar aquí, tengo el baño, muy moderno, y joder, qué grande. Debería tener una fiesta, ¿no? Buenos días, from a very sunny and warm Catalonia. So I woke up this morning in the Gerona, had a brilliant pool day. Um, I only really took this one clip, so I put it up now. Uh, but yeah, really good pool day. Met this lad there and um, basically just kind of ended up, it was also on his pool day. <laughs> we ended up doing about four movements together. So that was a laugh, really nice guy. Um, yeah, now I'm actually heading back north just saw a sign for France say 54 clicks. Definitely not going there again. But um, I am going to Amborias or Emborias, is how they say it in Catalan. Um, now, this is where there was like all old ruins from the Roman times. Because the Roman Empire actually uh, included the uh, Iberian Peninsula. The Iberian Pen Peninsula is obviously what I'm on now, which is basically Spain and Portugal. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go check that out. I've been there before, but I don't remember it because I was about nine or 10 years old. So anyway, excited to see how that all looks. And uh, then I might be meeting up with an old friend for some lunch. But um, yeah, the goal for tonight is get to Valencia. So that's only about five hours, four and a half, five hours. So I can kind of chill a bit today. It's not quite the same as yesterday where it's just like, sending it on the driving so that's good stuff um anyway, yeah i'll show you emporias it's like one second for you but about 25 minutes for me so just bought a new pair of jeans jean shorts that wouldn't go down well at home but here yeah, to be fair like it's kind of the style it's a bit different so i need some shorts and they only had jean shorts so purchase some jorts and now I'm at the ruins. So, let's see what this is all about, eh? No estamos en la entrada de un edificio, sino de toda una ciudad. This used to be a whole city. It's pretty mad. I'll put it on the screen now. There's like a big statue over there. On the GoPro, I won't be able to zoom in, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's pretty mad. My parents used to have a house like 20 30 minutes away from here and i have been here but like i was so young <laughs> it's just crazy to think that i was actually listening to a joe rogan podcast um about a guy who's he's actually hated among egypt egyptologists because he's got really uh contradictory beliefs uh, among like the uh, history uh, he's called Graham Hancock anyway he was on a podcast of another guy uh, on the Joe Rogan and then basically he mentioned this place he was like in the north of Spain so I was like where's that then so I looked it up and saw how close it was to Pearls which is where we used to live so I thought that was pretty mad I was like I gotta come visit and uh, yeah unreal I'm glad I've come to visit City unreal. So yeah, it's an old Roman, old Roman settlement. It's a whole city. This is. That's a crazy thing. Yo yo yo. So, leg three. Stint three, third leg, whatever you want to call it, the third leg. <laughs> 
has just commenced. I say oh, that's a lie. It commenced about an hour and a half ago. Um, yeah. So I went to Powell's, where we used to have a house, where I started karting actually. So it all began for me. Um, yeah, met with an old friend of mine from the karting days, and uh, we got we grabbed some lunch together. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So then. Now I'm on my way down to Valencia, which is where I'll be staying tonight. So about four hours in total. Nah, four hours forty in total. I'm about three hours away now. So compared to yesterday, pretty easy. It's half past five. It's actually twenty to six. I keep lying in this clip. I don't know why. But um, it's about twenty to six right now. Um, yeah, so I should get there around about nine o'clock, give or take. So. Um, yeah, see how we get on. Woo! Woo! Hola, Pipa, buena tarde. It's now Saturday, I think. Time for gym in Valencia. There it is. So, just finished my leg session there. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm so hot. I've not got any air cons in these Spanish gyms, and it's literally just so hot. But. That was Valencia. I'm just walking back to our apartment cart now. 22 euros a day, so it should be 44 euros. It's been here two days. But uh, it's been unreal. It's just rain now. Just rain before I came out to remind me of home a little bit. But uh, to be fair, it's still really warm and it's not even that wet anyway. So, anyway, I get to my car now, start the journey. It's uh, five to eight. So, four hour drive before we get there. 20 past midnight or so. Uh, yeah. Let's get to our Maria. Yo! So, I was in Valencia for two days, it's all done and dusted. Just like I showed you in that last clip. Got the car back, the car's all good. I was a little bit worried that something might happen because the bike in the back is literally more expensive than the car itself. Um, I probably will put it into the video how I've packed this car, this said car, when I unpack it in Almeria. But like I say, it is currently, what time is it? 25 past 8, we've got 4 hours. So I'll probably get in around about half 12 if I include a petroleum refuel um, and potentially a nutrition refuel. So I'm yet to eat my dinner. Uh, I've only had some like brunch, but to be fair, I didn't eat loads, so I don't need to. Maybe I'll go out. Who knows? Stay tuned. So the time is currently 1:44 a.m. That's making a load of noise. This is just water. Super eerie down here. I've not been down here since I was literally like five years old. But it's the, um, the storage for the uh, apartment. So this, I hid all my stuff in my coats. So I've got my suitcase. 
Yeah. I like the majority of my stuff in it. Put that there because I'll take it upstairs. See, jackets, like I was saying. This should brought loads just to cover up my stuff. These two wheels. And the irony is, I don't know if I've said this in the video yet, that bike is actually more expensive than the car that it's coming, which I think is pretty funny. So, oh, don't really know what to do with this for now. I think I'll just put it in here, just like that. I want the bike to go there. Let's put that there for now. Okay, this has to go here then. Because <laughs> it's not playing ball. Okay. So, like I was saying, jumpers and stuff. For, uh, literally for so many jackets. It's insane. I kind of can't believe nothing got nicked. I was really expecting something to get nicked. But uh, yeah, so here's the bike itself. I'll try and pick it up with one hand. Okay, there we go. This is the bad boy. Not too shabby, eh? Just uh, some bad foot Tesco bags on the chain. Just because of the border and everything. So that's there now the frame. I've got the saddle. The saddle here. And yeah. That's all the bike equipment. I'm not putting that together today. I'll put it together tomorrow. That can be a job for tomorrow. Um, yeah. So in here I've got like my water bladder and stuff. The training. Put in some uh, gels and that. And yeah, that's basically it. All right, so I'm gonna empty this stuff out. Take it up to the apartment. And I'll get that locked up too. But um, anyway, we're here. We're here. So, just finished my 5k run. I'm just crossing under the, uh, they call it Ellingless, which means the English. And it's where, in Armoria, there's a trading route of England. They used to get the ships to the end of there, like that's the sea, and uh, drop the cargo onto there. So, anyway. Cool fact of the day. Currently doing my first load of laundry. And I cannot describe how scary this is. I'm hanging up my stuff. And I just think, that's not mine by the way. I think that's my auntie's. It's not mine. But um, yeah. That's not a vibe. I don't want my stuff falling down there. And heights is literally my only fear. So I'm kind of prepping myself. But it is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> It's just so far. <laughs> right, there we go, this hung up. So, it's currently 10 to 1 in the morning on Tuesday night, slash Wednesday morning. And it's time to finally put the bike together. So I've had two, four days here. Tomorrow, I plan to do my first ride. Um, I had like a three hour siesta earlier. That's why I'm still awake, even though I'm tired now. So, uh, yeah, gonna head downstairs, put that together and then I'll be riding tomorrow. I'm inside the storage in the bottom of the apartment. It's about 10 minutes later, it's exactly 1am. Because I forgot the key. <laughs> forgot the key for this room. Uh, it's called Trastero in Spanish. 
I guess you just call that storage in English. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, so let's get to work putting this together. Here's obviously the frame, this was in the back of the car. I've got the saddle here. Um, two wheels. So let's try, let's try to do a good job putting this together. So I can ride tomorrow. <laughs> Test ride on the garage. <laughs> See how it feels. Right, this thing is ready to go. Try it tomorrow. With all that said and done. Been exactly a week. Well, I started this video Wednesday night, leaving England. It's now Wednesday morning, half past one in the morning. So I think that's a good time to finish this video. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you all for watching and uh, let me know what you think of it and stay tuned because I'm planning on doing plenty more content like this. So cheers for watching, guys.